Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to talk about Google Analytics and how to set that up and what you can get from it. So it's one of the first things you should be doing when you get access to a website, if it's not already there. If you've bought your website, it may already be there and that property's transferred over to you and you can look at all of the properties that are on there, which is always a good thing. But it's very simple and easy to set up. Now, you go into analytics.google.com it will bring up your Google account and it will look something along like that, along the lines of this. Now, um, you can now carry on and set up an account within Analytics. Now, I'm just going to call this account CC for Craig Campbell. I'm going to tick all the data sharing stuff um, that's on there. And you'll be able to see. I can create 58 more accounts. Any one profile can have up to 100 analytics accounts on there. I've got 42 um, accounts set up on it, which is fine uh, for properties that I have. So we're just going to crack on and press next. Now, <coughs> from here, we're going to enter the property name. I'm just going to put my initials in. I'm just going to leave that. You can set this to whatever time you want whatever currency you want and crack on to the next step don't know why it's not letting me go next yeah so it wants me to have a better business name click next business details Try and be as honest as you possibly can. There's no real benefit to saying you're large when you're not and vice versa. Select a category. I'm just going to put in... Let me see what... What works. Internet and telecom. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but we'll go with it. Um, click next. Now, business objectives. It could be any of these. Um, you can tick them all if you want. Of course, we'll want to generate leads, drive online sales, raise brand awareness, examine user behavior, and get baseline reports. So you can tick all four of the top ones, or you can do select baseline reports. Now, from here, it will ask you to accept Google's terms and conditions. You click accept after reading them, of course, and then you're going to start collecting data. Now, in most cases, it's going to be a website. So you're going to put the website in here, um, your, your stream name, just your website name, whatever you want. So I'm just going to have Craig Campbell SEO.com put there. And we are measuring page views, scrolls, outbound clicks site search, video engagement, file downloads, and form interactions. Stream name, I'm just going to use my initials as CC. Create stream. And it's basically giving, giving me installation instructions. So it really is that simple and easy to, to get that part set up. Um, now, of course, what you want to do is view tag instructions. How do you connect your website to this Google Analytics account? Now you can install it using uh, the, the option here where you can pick WordPress if you're on WordPress or whatever you might be on, or you can install it manually and you can put that tag onto your website immediately after the head element don't add more than one Google tag to each page. Now, you just go and add that to the header of your website and it will track everything. Now, if you want to do it in a more simplistic way, you can go and use uh, the, follow the instructions here um, and use the WordPress site kit plugin, which again will allow you to install that code just in case you're scared 
to touch the code on your website. So you've got to install that and then essentially you have your Google Analytics set up. Now, what does that actually mean uh, for you? Um, so we'll just have a quick look at what that might look like. Um, you're able to see uh, you know, users, you can define the dates and all that kind of stuff on there. You can see how people got to your website, whether it be organic search, whether it be direct traffic, organic social, paid social, referrals or organic video. So you can see all of that kind of stuff on there. You can look at where, what country these people come from, uh, what week they came on, what pages get the most views, which, uh, what are the top events? I don't actually have events set up. So you can actually monitor and get a lot of data. Now we can see I get a lot of traffic from the US, um, but from all other places in the world as well, Belgium and whatnot, uh, which is always nice to see. You can then go into more detail. Acquisition, um, user acquisition, traffic acquisition, you can dig deeper into all of this kind of stuff. We can talk, look at engaged se sessions um, and all of that kind of stuff. Now, I don't actually have conversions set up. I don't sell anything or, or do anything like that on the website. Um, we can look at the engagement, events, conversions, if you've got that stuff set up, landing pages. You can also look at monetization if you get e-commerce purchases, purchase journey. So you can actually dig deep into what is going on on your website. And of course, you can see if you've got um, publisher ads, you can look at you know whether your, your AdWords are working well for you, where are the people coming in from on your website. And all of that's important so that you can fine tune your website. So it's one of the first things that I would advise that you do. Very simple and easy to set up, as you can see. And there's a lot of useful data in here as well. And it goes into a lot more detail um, than I've just shown. This is me just skimming over it to show you what it does and what it looks like. But you can track everything on your website, setting it all up. There is a million videos on YouTube that will show you in-depth guides as to what Google Analytics is. It's really simple and easy though. Make sure you do set it up. It's simple and easy as I've just shown you there. And it's one of two things which are completely free, which you should be installing your website. The next one is going to be Google Search Console. And again, I am going to show you how to do that in the next video and a brief bit about uh, what it actually looks like. So make sure you do have this set up before you go away and do any work so that you can take credit for any of the work that you're doing. And you can also advise people within the business that you're working in as to what's going on, where's the traffic coming from, why is it, you know, why is this moved up or down or whatever. So uh, you can tell a lot from your analytics, guys. Music